This time last year, we were in a peak of a pretty nasty flu season, but Texas doctors aren't seeing very many flu cases this year. Michael Lepardi live in the Texas Medical Center tonight with how the coronavirus pandemic is playing a big role in that. Michael? Well, one of the doctors we spoke with believes the use of masks and covering your face is playing a big role in all of this, but she also pointed out that flu season isn't over, so we're not in the clear just yet. With so much focus on the coronavirus, it's easy to forget that we're in the middle of flu season. But right now, doctors at Memorial Hermann say they aren't seeing many flu patients. I generally see two or three influenza patients a week during flu season. This flu season, I have seen exactly two influenza patients for the entire season. Dr. Linda Yancey is an infectious disease specialist. What we are seeing are are historically low numbers of influenza cases, the lowest on record since we started counting. This chart shows the percentage of visits to a medical provider in Texas for flu-like illness. The red line represents the current flu season. It's nearly flat and well below previous years. The Department of State Health Services says flu activity across Texas is low, but shows that testing in hospital labs is down compared to around the same time last year. So is there less flu or simply fewer tests? There is less of the flu circulating right now. Countries that have not stepped back on their testing are seeing historically low numbers. Dr. Yancey credits mass use for keeping flu cases low, but COVID numbers are still high. So what does that tell us about the two viruses? Influenza is contagious, but nowhere near as contagious as coronavirus. It is 15 times as contagious as influenza. And she pointed out that flu season isn't over just yet. And there are similarities in the symptoms with both COVID and the flu. But Dr. Yancey said that in the facilities that she goes into, when people are feeling sick, they get tested for both viruses. She also pointed out that it's not too late to get a flu shot. We're live in the medical center tonight. Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.